Well, hello there and welcome to the studio. So today I'm going to continue my um, exploration of using the Liquitex pouring medium. Um, you may have seen a couple other videos where I've used Liquitex with craft paints and that didn't work out so well. Had a lot of chunking of the craft paint. So I'm using the Liquitex with only Liquitex paints today to pour through strainers in attempt to make some flowers. So, so, so let's try that. Okay, so I have mixed up my colors and so I'm getting ready to go. So I'm using Brilliant Purple, a uh, soft body, a Carillion Blue, also a soft body, and uh, hmm, Naphthol Crimson, which is also a soft body and cadmium yellow light hue soft body and i am out of any liquitex whites in the soft body so i'm using titanium white in the heavy body but i've mixed it in really thoroughly and so i have a pink shade a red shade a light blue shade yellow for the hopefully the center of the flowers and the purple all right so let us get started and see how this turns out so i'm going to put three of my these are actually strainers that might go into your sink in your kitchen and so I'm actually going to start by just pouring kind of around these. And this will be kind of my outline color. Now let me spread this around a little bit. And we'll see what we have. I'm trying to kind of make an outline that the paint will come up to and stop. Now sometimes I will cover my canvas so that my paints will roll over these, but I do want this blue to show a little bit in the background, so we're just kind of creating a stop stopping point. For the paint to pour out. It will still pour past it, but not as... So I'm just going to pour a little bit just to get my outside edges started on a couple of my flowers. This first ring should be the outside edge. And then what I'll do is I just keep pouring rings. So I just pull them up slowly, let them drip just a little bit, and then head on out with those. Now that one might drip even more, that direction. All right, let's try that one. Let it drip a little bit. Nice. 
but you see I'm pulling it up and then putting it back down in what I've learned with these strainers is they don't come out evenly and you see this one didn't have any paint under at all it's all going to come in the middle and these are not going to be flowers but aren't those cool I've done a similar painting and it was with a colander pour with yellows. Now I think this one turned out nice, almost looks like a sunflower. Sunflower fading, sunflower fresh. So we're going to let that settle, move it, move it around just a little bit. Maybe it'll just be big blobs, I don't know, but I think I like it so far. Oh wow. It's kind of cute, and I'm not sure I want to mess with it. I think I might want to just leave it right there in the center, just like that. It is odd, but it's really cute. I'm going to actually bring it this way a little bit. But slowly. Because it seems like the... So we'll see how that works. All right, let me bring you in close. All right, everybody. So here is my funky looking, 70s almost looking flowers. This is a 10 by 20 canvas, and it is a pour through three colander or sink strainers, I mean. What do you think? Let me know. So here is our pour through the strainer after it has dried. I have to tell you how pleased I am with this glossy finish on the Liquitex. I will not need to resin this one. Um, what I do need to remember the next time though is that if I mess with the edges, then it will have an uneven texture. But I do love this. It did turn out very nice, shiny and already sealed no need for resin love that let me know what you think